after all the welcome uh, words, it's uh, once again my turn this time to give you some information uh, regarding the uh, history of uh, our uh, faculty and university, and also uh, some information regarding your first days in the university and what uh, awaits to in the years to come. Uh, first of all, um, I will show you this image. I'm sure you already know it. It's uh, about uh, Romania. It's about Cluj, that uh, is the heart of Transylvania. Uh, as you will see by yourself, uh, Cluj-Napoca is uh, a very large city, uh, more than four thousand a hundred thousands of uh, inhabitants are living in Cluj and this makes Cluj a very live city. Uh, it has a very intense uh, social, economical and cultural life. You will uh, meet around, uh, let's say, 87,000 students. Uh, Cluj is uh, a university city, a university town. We have uh, more than five universities here in Cluj. Our uh, University of Medicine Pharmacy is one of those. And even if it is so large, uh, it is a very welcoming city and it's a very safe city as uh, you will see in uh, the days and years to come. Uh, as for the medical teaching here in Cluj, uh, it started uh, centuries ago. First of all, uh, as um, uh, a faculty of medicine within a large university called Franz Josef. Uh, and uh, starting uh, 1919, uh, the Faculty of Medicine was uh, open in Romanian language after the First World War. Uh, and it has uh, had as the first dean, Professor Hatsieganu, you are seeing, you are looking at his picture. Uh, it was the head of our internal uh, medicine school. In the image below, you see the first medical clinic, the one in which uh, Professor Hatsieganu was uh, active. He was very loved by his patients and his collaborators, and uh, the university carries these days uh, his name. Uh, going further, today, uh, University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Cluj, University Julio Hatsieganu, is consisted of three faculties. You have already seen the deans of these faculties, medicine, dental medicine and pharmacy. And uh, the studies are organized uh, on three levels. Undergraduate, the studies uh, in which you have uh, enrolled uh, this year. Uh, postgraduate, master and PhD. Maybe it's worth mentioning that uh, for the medical uh, studies, uh, master is considered as part of this. So your six years include both undergraduate studies and uh, master studies. If you will be interested, you can enroll in the end of your uh, undergraduate studies. You can enroll in PhD after this uh, six years of uh, school. Uh, we have uh, more than 9,000 students. We have uh, plenty of teachers, as you can see, more than 800. And uh, I'm all, I am sure you already know it. It's also valuable information. Diplomas are recognized um, in uh, European Union based on ECTS system, European Credit Transfer System. I will explain uh, a little bit further what uh, a credit means. And besides this, our diploma are also recognized by uh, Israel Ministry of uh, Health. Uh, talking about uh, these uh, students, uh, more than uh, 2,000 and high 800 are international students, French-speaking and English-speaking students enrolled in programs of all the three faculties. Uh, I have to admit that um, it is quite a challenge to integrate uh, students coming from about 60 countries. Uh, which have different cultural backgrounds. But uh, this uh, um, multicultural uh, environment is very much appreciated uh, not only by uh, our both Romanian and international students. You have the opportunity to come into contact with so many cultures during your study years and I advise you to do so, to, to try to meet as, uh, as uh, many of your colleagues as uh, you will 
like. But this environment is also very much appreciated by our uh, teachers. Uh, as for the rankings, uh, maybe you already found this information on our site. Uh, in Romania, we are ranked as first place, and uh, this comes from the high numbers of uh, the highest numbers among Romanian universities of students which uh, are um, continuing their uh, formation in uh, medical sciences as uh, residents. Uh, and uh, also, our ranking is uh, very good internationally. And as you can see, I will mention only Shanghai ranking uh, on academic subjects, which placed us in position uh, between 400 and 500 uh, in relation uh, regarding uh, clinical uh, medicine. And um, I also will uh, share with you this information. Uh, international uh, ranking of the university is better and better by, uh, by year as the years uh, go by. Um, you already have met our rector. She is uh, running. She is uh, running the university. She has been a dean of the medical faculty for uh, twelve years. Uh, you see now. You have uh, in the image uh, the pictures of the three deans: uh, myself for the medical faculty. Uh, I myself uh, am a physiology teacher, Professor Christian Dinu for dental medicine, and he is a surgeon, uh, and also Professor Janina Krishan for uh, pharmacy. As for the secretarial staff, and you will need for sure uh, their help, uh, you will not survive without their help. Uh, I'm showing you now the picture of the chief secretary of the university, uh, Valeria Meseshan. Uh, I'm mentioning uh, the chief secretaries for uh, medicine, uh, Mrs. Andrea Boleman. You will meet her in the days to come. And the chief secretary for dental medicine, uh, Mrs. Nicoleta Stankulesk. And as for your study uh, series, study groups, uh, you will have as what we call to be your secretary is uh, Mrs. Ekaterina Pirici for medicine and all for dental medicine, it is uh, Mrs. Alexandra Siladi. Your secretaries, your series secretaries will uh, give you much information uh, about uh, your schedule, about how uh, to organize, about uh, whatever you could, uh, you could ask. And talking about what could interest you in these first days, uh, I will uh, explain in just a few images uh, information uh, comprised in what we are calling survival kit. You are freshmen, you need so much information. Of course, I have contents, I have um, tried to shorten it. You will uh, find more information information in International Student uh, Guide, in ECTS Guide. So you have uh, plenty of sources, so I will give you only the basic information. And uh, first of all, I think it's uh, good to be mentioned that, uh, of course, the activity within the institution, within the university, is regulated mainly by the University Charta. Uh, you should be aware, so please be informed about regulations of student activity. This relates directly with uh, your own uh, activity day by day. And please be aware of the exam regulation. We all, teachers and students, are obeying these regulations. Uh, there is also uh, a code of ethics which uh, explains you what you are supposed to do or not to do as long as you are uh, our students. And uh, there is also a code of conduct which uh, explains you a little bit about uh, the dress code you should uh, adopt while uh, working in the clinics and also outside the clinics, uh, how you should address teachers uh, and uh, many, many others. Uh, talking about uh, your activity, I um, am showing you this image just to be able to explain that uh, your first holiday will begin in 20th of December. In fact, uh, for the first three years, and now I'm talking about medicine, for dental medicine for the six years, the activity is organized in two semesters. In the end of each semester, you will have what we are calling to be the ordinary exam session. 
uh, for medicine for the last three years. Uh, the year is organized also into semester, but one semester consists of two separate modules. In the end of uh, each of the modules, you will have an exam uh, session. Uh, each of the semester lasts for 14 weeks. So semester, uh, exam session, second semester exam session, and then in the end of the year, for those of you who uh, unfortunately will fail uh, some subjects, it may be the case, you will have two re-examination sessions which give you the opportunity to redo your exam. My advice for you is, even you feel you are not uh, ready for the exam, you are not quite prepared, uh, attend the examination. Not attending an, ex uh, attending an exam means that you are simply losing a chance. So the first uh, holiday uh, will begin in 20th of December and it will last uh, to 3 of January. And then you will have a spring holiday in the end of April. And then you will have in the end of the year, after all the exam sessions, re-examination, you will have the largest holiday, the summer one. It might seem large, but I'm giving you now this information and uh, whenever you feel we will discuss it in detail. Uh, each student has to have some practical activities during the summer uh, holiday uh, and uh, these practical activities can be undertaken either here in Romania in our hospitals or in uh, your own uh, countries of uh, origin. As for our educational offer, each of the discipline uh, is consisted of courses, theoretical courses, and for the fundamentals here, uh, what we are calling practicals, for the clinical years, uh, clinical stages. Most of the discipline, the vast majority, are compulsory. So you have to go through those disciplines. And of course, you will have also some electives for, uh, you will have uh, an offer of which you will choose a subject upon your choice, upon your will, what you are interested in, what you like, what you feel that you could uh, do in uh, the future. Uh, regarding courses, for the whole duration of your studies here in Cluj, the courses will be held in uh, English language. We are talking about, of course, academic uh, language. But uh, since you will be uh, examining and uh, you will have your uh, Romanian patients, you need to know the Romanian language at least at this conversational level. And uh, if you have had the curiosity to just check the curriculum of uh, the previous years, uh, organ we organize the Romanian language courses for international students. And please be aware that in the end of your third year in uh, here in Cluj, you will have to have a Romanian language examination. Uh, which needs to be passed in order for you to go into clinical years when you will have to discuss with uh, your uh, patients. And now we are coming to this ECTS, is transferable credits. What does it mean? I was explaining you that uh, each of the discipline is consisted of courses and practicals. And in order to pass that discipline, you need to pass the examinations for both clinical or uh, practical part and also for theoretical part. The amount of work you have to put in each of the discipline is measured in these uh, credits, ECTSs. Uh, meaning that, for instance, you will have anatomy in uh, your first year, first semester, maybe it's the most uh, scary, I'm joking, discipline of this year. Anatomy is credited with a high number of credits, which tells both you and uh, the administration that you have to put a serious workload into that. Why do we use such a uh, credit system? Because it's, um, uh, it's uh, used whenever and you will have the opportunity to go abroad to study in other universities in Europe. It is a system all the universities around Europe uses and it serves for uh, facilitating uh, student uh, mobilities. Uh, to come back to practical information, uh, the disciplines which you are following during one year are credited with 60 credits. Uh, 30 credits for semester. Um, in order to, um, to pass your year, at least for the first three years, you need to have to pass exams that give you at least 50 credits. 
if you have 50 credits, you can go into the next year and during that new year, you will have the disciplines al allocated to that year. And beside that, you have to pass the exams you have failed in the previous years. If you will fail more disciplines, more exams, meaning that in the end of the year you will not have the 50 credit, it means that you will have simply to redo uh, the year. Uh, and now uh, what are, let's say, uh, at least in part uh, uh, conditions which allowed you to go into the examination? Uh, first of all, you have to be present. For the lectures, you, will have, you have to attend at least 70% of the courses. And for the practicals, and this is very important, you have to be present 100%. All the practicals need to be done. Of course, you could be ill, you could have personal problems at times, but what you miss will be recovered in order once again to pass through all your practicals. The practical activity is very important in our institution and uh, therefore we have uh, such tight conditions. So this is a first condition. Beside that, of course, you have uh, to study. Uh, I also uh, put uh, emphasis on this information and please be aware of it. Um, I was telling you that if you miss some practicals, you can redo those. Uh, under any circumstances, you cannot miss more than 20% of the hours allocated to practicals or clinical stages. If you miss more, you have to redo the whole uh, discipline. Talking about exam marks and others, uh, you will be acknowledged upon the type of examination. Some exams are orally, some exams are of written type, talking about theoretical part. Practical examinations are always orally, and as you will see in the clinical years, uh, at least, and now I'm talking for the Faculty of Medicine, are organized as uh, OSCE, meaning uh, uh, oral clinical examination in stations. Uh, I already have mentioned that, but once again, it is important information, please be aware of this, in order to pass an exam, to have the credits allocated for that examination, you need to pass both practical and theoretical uh, part. It's only for the graduation uh, examination for which uh, besides theoretical practical uh, parts of the exam, you will have uh, to perform some research during your last years of uh, studying here in Cluj and you will have to present uh, your results, scientific ones, in a thesis uh, in front of a commission who will uh, evaluate uh, you. Uh, maybe you have already understood exams are taking place during exam sessions. In Romania, the grading system goes between 1, which is the worst possible, and 10, which is the best. In order to pass your exam, you need to have at least a 5 for both theoretical and practical. Um, just uh, to resume, you have three chances during one year to have a certain exam for a certain discipline. What we are calling the ordinary sessions in the end of the first uh, semester and in the end of the second se semester. And beside that, uh, the remaining two occasions you will have during the uh, two re-examination uh, sessions. Uh, I was already explaining you what these residual credits mean. Um, the only information I will put emphasis at this very moment is the uh, following one. In the end of your uh, first three years, in the end of your third year, in order to pass into the clinical teaching, you need to have all the 180 credits for the first three years. So when talking about going into the next year with at a maximum uh, maximum 10 uh, ECTSs, 10 credits, we are talking about passing from one uh, second, uh, first year to second year or second to third. In the end of third, you need to have all uh, the credits. Um, this information, uh, maybe it's hard to keep in mind uh, all what I am telling you now, but uh, you have many sources of information and for your guidance and support, I'm mentioning first uh, this uh, study guide, the ECTS study guide, in which you will find information about the curriculum, uh, syllabus for all the disciplines, uh, references, type of examination, 
And uh, the study guide is uh, posted on the university and faculty site and also you can uh, have it uh, free of charge. Beside that, you will have the help of uh, tutors. Uh, I'm sure the EMSA, the organization of uh, English speaking students in the university will be of much help. I very much appreciate their work towards all the students and uh, especially these days uh, work with uh, first year students with freshmen. Uh, but beside the, your uh, older colleagues, you will have the help of teachers. Uh, the tutors with whom you may discuss uh, how to organize your studies, uh, maybe you will have questions, do not hesitate to address your tutors, you will be informed uh, who they are and you will meet them uh, these uh, welcoming days on uh, the platform. Uh, you also may benefit of this international study guide, uh, which is, uh, as you can see in this image, uh, you uh, find these guides in the two languages we organize uh, studies in both French and English. It's uh, just the table of contents, just to be able to, I have put this image just to be able to explain that you may find information about the library, um, how you can enter the library, how you can access uh, um, electronic information uh, from your own homes, um, about, uh, you have some rules about conduct guide, you have um, explanations about credits, you have explanation of the examination, uh, many, many types of uh, information. Uh, I'm sure you already have uh, um, um, searched and you have found this uh, Join UMFS site in which you may find information in uh, seven uh, languages. And uh, what I invite you to, to place now on your cell phones is this application for uh, cell phones. It is called Info Util in Romanian. It, uh, it can be used, of course, also in English. And the names come from the meaning of it. It's an application in which you find useful information. Useful now in your first days and useful also during your studies in Romania. And uh, if you take a look at this image, you will find the information about the schedule, about uh, the campus, uh, useful information about uh, Cluj-Napoca, uh, about student organization. Uh, you can choose the language uh, and um, uh, you can also or even find information. You can navigate to location wherever, wherever you are in Cluj. It will tell you how much time you need until your next course begins. This is a very very valuable information. Do not uh, enjoy too much and too long a cup of coffee around the uh, Cluj. Um, student organization will have uh, a separate meeting with you and I advise you to become member of this organization. We are keeping a very close contact with uh, the representatives. Uh, we are keeping them informed all the times. They are keeping us, the administration and the leadership of the faculty and the university, informed about your own uh, needs. Uh, we organize uh, meetings with the representatives at least twice per year. So any kind of problem you could encounter in uh, your academic life and if you feel the need also in your, in your personal life, uh, do not hesitate to discuss with your um, tutors, uh, the students' representatives, or um, even the leadership of uh, the university and the faculty, uh, the deans, vice deans, we have vice deans which are in charge with uh, international students. Uh, I also uh, acknowledge uh, you that we have uh, a psychological counseling and the professional orientation center for students. It is found in one of our hostels. Uh, Codruța Popescu, you see her picture in uh, the image, is uh, the psychologist who serves this center. She also teaches you communication, how to communicate with your patients. So if you will feel the need to address her, please do so. Uh, you have uh, in this uh, presentation uh, the email address. Please let her know you would uh, like to see her and sh she will schedule appointments at uh, uh, during your uh, 
uh, free during your uh, spare times. Um, I'm not sure whether I should mention this in uh, the very first meeting we have with uh, first year students, but um, at times, yes, medical students can, uh, studies can be challenging, uh, can be difficult. Um, so, once again, if you feel the need, if uh, you are worried, if uh, you feel not well, please address uh, the center. Uh, how will we communicate or how will you communicate uh, with us and with your teachers? So uh, the contact information for the Dean's Office is the first address you are seeing in this image. Please use the application Info Util. We will place information in real time regarding your activities. Uh, please be part of Yahoo groups of your series of or of your study groups. Uh, information is going also through those groups. Uh, please uh, check uh, the university site, the faculty site. And I uh, have to mention we have a notice board at the site uh, of uh, the three faculties where we will place uh, announcements. Um, I'm sure you already have uh, given us, uh, the faculties, a like for our uh, Facebook uh, sites. Uh, as for the facilities and opportunities, there are plenty and I will mention only a few. And uh, maybe a first interest for you are these scholarship, uh, scholarships and these are uh, awarded for uh, students with uh, best result. Uh, such a scholarship means uh, 3,000 euros per year um, and uh, you will find instructions on uh, who can enroll for such scholarships and how these scholarships are awarded on the website of the faculty. And once again, if you need further information, just contact your tutors or uh, your secretaries, uh, meaning the, dean of, the dean's uh, offices. Uh, another opportunity which we appreciate, uh, we, when I'm talking about we, I'm talking about the academic community, not only teachers, not only administration, but mostly students. These uh, skills centers, we have been the first university in Romania to open such a skill uh, center. Uh, and simulation, you are working on mannequins, uh, both medical students and uh, dental medical students. Um, it's a very interesting um, activity there and um, in fact you will have, uh, once again I'm talking about uh, medicine, you will have uh, two modules, one during your third year just to, to uh, uh, gain the basic uh, practical skills before you are going to work in the hospitals. You will learn how to make injections and many, many others. And then you will have during your last year a second module, which a little bit more complicated uh, maneuvers to be acquired. Uh, as for the research activities, uh, please be aware and uh, just be curious about this. Uh, we are calling those um, uh, student circles. These are research group for students. Many of the disciplines organize uh, such uh, research groups. Uh, the university is also awarding research grants for students. Of course, they are awarded by competition. You will have to uh, have a proposal, a grant to present your idea, to explain why do you, why do you think this idea is important, is valuable, why do you ask for money and what you will do with those money. Uh, we do not expect you to have scientific ideas, of course, uh, starting your first day, but please be aware be active in such scientific circle. Uh, just uh, look at what your teachers do as research. Find a tutor and all uh, with, uh, will uh, go uh, well. You will maybe be able to present your uh, results, scientific ones, in uh, the university days, which are organized uh, in December. Students are most welcome to present their activity there. You may be able to um, uh, write papers, to publish papers. So this is also a part of your uh, activity as uh, medical students. Uh, I also uh, invite you to uh, use the library. There are plenty of uh, English books uh, from a 
certain point you may be able to study in Romanian. Uh, we have an impressive uh, electronic databases, uh, of course, that is used as a student of the university. You will need a username, you will uh, need a password, but once you get those, you have practically unlimited possibilities to read. It's just, uh, I would say, it depends only on your will, how much uh, to read and how far you will go with uh, your uh, studies. Uh, there is a sport base, we have a restaurant in which you can uh, dine uh, side by side with uh, your teachers. Uh, some of you uh, may be interested uh, to find a place in our hostels. Um, in fact, and I will not uh, speak more, uh, I have given you what we consider to be basic information. We are, uh, we are at your disposal. Please just ask whatever you are interested in. Basically, what do we expect from you? Uh, well, first of all, just to attend the courses and the practicals. Be present, be curious, be active. Spend enough time for your uh, individual uh, study. Please do your best to develop uh, your knowledge and abilities. In the end, you will be uh, medical or dental doctors. Uh, you will be needed by your patients, so please just be very careful with your preparation as uh, future uh, doctors. I have said it once, I'm coming back to it. In order to have uh, a good collaboration and what we expect from you is that you and us to be real partners in the educational uh, process. And for this, both you and we teachers need to stick to the rules. Uh, I also invite you to have an academic behavior, not only within the faculties, within the university, but also outside of it. And I invite you to, to uh, enjoy all the extracurricular activities the university is organizing, uh, student organization is organizing, uh, extracurricular activities you may find in Cluj theaters, uh, opera, uh, symphony concerts, uh, festivals, be part of all what happens around you. Uh, if we all will uh, do our job, and I hope both you and us will uh, do our best to do our job, you will have uh, in the end of your six years uh, the serenades. This is uh, one of the lovely uh, periods during the years. Um, you will uh, be singing uh, songs about your life in Cluj, about your teachers, about happenings during uh, uh, your uh, study years. And all in all, maybe um, I already have said it, but um, student life is very enjoyable. Of course, it, ha it is hard work, but beside that is really enjoyable, enjoy it. And um, as for us, the academic community, once again, and in the end of uh, this very short presentation, we welcome you in our academic com community, in our university. Welcome to Cluj. And I'm telling you this uh, on behalf of uh, uh, the leadership of the university, on uh, behalf of uh, my own team, on behalf of all our teachers, and on behalf of your uh, older colleagues. Be welcome. We are awaiting you in uh, the courses halls. Thank you.